Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, many people always ask me about anger. If anger is a normal thing, if anger is something that's kind of inherent in who we are, or if it's a learned behavior, you know, the answer to that question could be little, a little of all of those. Most of the time, though, in my experience of working with people, I find anger is actually kind of a learned behavior. And it comes from imprinting of past experiences with not reconciling or reconciling what you can learn about those instances. How do we get rid of anger is an interesting process. The first thing is, is what I always say, you have to decide you're going to. And then you have to take a look at, is it really getting you where you want to go? Is that strategy working? And many times it does, because sometimes anger keeps people away from us. And there's an inherent belief inside of us, if we're away from people, we can't be hurt. A lot of times anger and the way we look at anger is from relationships or imprinting from negative things that happen in our relationships early on in life and sometimes not even in the relationship that we're in currently. However, it can have a devastating effect on that relationship. Sometimes anger is just kind of your personality. You just kind of were born angry. You know, and some people just have that kind of a temperamental attitude towards life. There's very few of those though. Most of the time anger is a learned behavior. And what we have to do is take responsibility for our anger. There are treatment programs for it. There's also many, many meetings of what they call men evolving without anger is a good group. And they also have that for women. But one of the best ways to get rid of anger is using neurolinguistic programming and literally rewrite those neurological pathways that cause us to feel angry. And one of the things you can do today is decide if you want to be angry and look at how it's happening in your relationships and how it's triggering with you. Always remember, we're responsible for our triggers. Other people are not responsible to walk on eggshells to make sure they don't fire them. It's our responsibility. And whether you're in a relationship or not, if you're an angry person, it's affecting your health. And it all stems from your belief system about yourself. High self-esteem is not done by hypnotizing someone and telling them they're great. High self-esteem and getting rid of anger has a lot to do with accomplishment, the way you feel about yourself. So today, I want you to think about those things, and if you're an angry person, or if you've inherently been angry most of your life, or you get triggered easily, take a look at some of the solutions I'm talking about, because it can be fixed. However, today, what you can do right now is to decide the next time somebody makes you angry, you're going to learn in that nanosecond of time before you blow up, you're going to change it. And just by doing that alone and do that for about a week and pay attention to it, that little area where it's not too late to change your mind because it is a conscious decision to get angry, change it and you're going to start training yourself to eliminate it or at least not let it fire off unexpectedly. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day and calm down. It doesn't pay to be angry. Bye-bye.